Hi guys, welcome to CYC. My name is Nathan Hayes, and today I want to talk to you about why it's desperately important for you to keep trying. No matter what it is, whether it's quitting smoking, or to start exercising, or to stop lying, or to pick up a new hobby. Whatever it is, the importance of trying and failing and trying again. To do this, I'm going to do what every psychologist in the world tells you not to do. And that's to equate living with money. Now, when I use the word living, I'm not referring to mere survival. Growth, change, finding challenges. That's what I'm referring to in this video when I use the word living, which I like because that's the definition I try to live by. So how am I going to equate that with money? The negative way to equate the two is to say that money buys experience. So without money, you can't change, you can't grow, and you can't challenge yourself. But as we all know, you can have all the money in the world and never grow because you have to bring the right set of eyes to an experience. The Grand Canyon is just a hole in the ground for those that don't want to see more. You see, I want to equate living with money because like money, there's a negative force on the stagnation of living. With money, we call this inflation. Your money isn't worth as much today as it was 10 years ago. And if you want to save up any sum of money, you have to fight against that force. You have to make the money work for you. You have to invest it. You can't just leave it sitting around. And it's the same with living. Your ability to change and grow and challenge yourself, that will depreciate too. It will deteriorate, it will get weaker. And the only way to fight against that downward force isn't just to breathe and survive. You have to challenge yourself. You have to change, you have to grow. If you have any hope of saving up some living, some energy, some force throughout life. And by the way, you will fail many times over. Anybody that says that failure is not a part of life is failing just for believing that. But the thing is, effort is accumulative. It builds up. So even if you fail just one step further into it than you did last time, that'd be great. And even if you don't, even if you fail, even if you, this is the worst you've ever done, it's still worth it. No matter what the goal is, whether it's quit smoking or to start exercising or to stop lying or to build up a skill, whatever it is, I want you to view it like this. That goal that you've set ahead of yourself, you running for that is like being attached to an elastic band. And every time you get up and you run for it, your legs are getting a bit stronger. Every failure, your legs are getting a bit stronger. And every time you get up and run for it, you're stretching out that elastic band just that extra little bit. It'll be just little bit easier next time but the thing is every time you sit down and take a break every time you stay down just for that little bit extra for that little bit longer than you need that elastic band's starting to heal up it's starting to get a bit stronger and every time you're sitting down for that extra little bit your legs are starting to get weaker so no matter your goal your only option is to try and to keep trying and to build up that effort until you reach that goal and then your only option is to hold on to that goal because life will try to snap you back, whether it's to smoking or to lying or to being lazy. So you hold on to that goal, but you do not relax. You do not breathe a sigh of relief. You pick up the next elastic band, pick up the next challenge, whatever it is, and you continue to get stronger, continue to grow. So that's it for me today, guys. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you failed at most. Not what took you the longest to learn, but what you had the most failed attempts at. I think that'd be kind of entertaining. Uh, whether this is like smoking or something like that, or whether it's like a driver test, or maybe it's a drug test. Whatever it is, leave it in the comments down below, and I will see you next week, guys. Bye.